All right then, so now we know that we can make post requests from Postman, that tool I showed you in the last lecture. What I'd like to do now is set up a post request handler inside our app.js file so we can test the endpoint out. So down here, I'm gonna say app, and then it's a post request this time that we wanna handle, so we say dot post. And then inside here, the route is just gonna be forward slash books. So we're gonna be sending a post request to localhost put 3000 forward slash books, okay? And then when we receive that post request, we fire a function that receives a request and a response argument right there. And inside here, the first thing we want to do is we want to get the body of the post request. So you know like when we send a post request, we send a request body, and that contains basically all the information that we want to save to the database in this case. So it's gonna contain what will be a book document, right? And the way we get the body, the request body, is by using the request.body property. But we can't use that unless we use a bit of middleware provided to us by Express. And the way we do that is by saying app.use. So we use the use method to use a bit of middleware. And we want to use Express, which is what we imported right here. And then on that, use a method called JSON, like so. And what that does is pass any JSON coming in on the request so that we can use it inside our handler functions down here. So I can now say request.body to get whatever was sent in the request body with the post request. So to do that, I'm just gonna store in some kind of variable and we'll call it book. So let's say const book is equal to request.body. All right, so now we have that request body, which will essentially be a book object. We want to save it to the database. So to do that, we can take our database object and then we can get a collection, which is gonna be the books collection, first of all. And then we want to use a method on that called insert one, which we've seen before. We use this to insert a single document. And then all we do is pass an object through to this. Now that object is just gonna be the book right here that we get from the request body, all right? And we're gonna see how we send this in the post request later on, so don't worry about that. All right, so we're adding that one document now the next thing we want to do is tack on a then method to this to fire a function once this asynchronous task is complete so in this function we're going to get back a result from mongodb and all we'll do is send a response to the client so i'll say the status is 201 meaning we've successfully added a resource then send them a json response and that is going to be the result that we get back from mongodb when we insert a new document We'll also tack on a catch block down here, so dot catch, and same again, we're gonna get some kind of error this time, but we can fire a function, and we're gonna send back a response to the client again, so we'll say response.status, first of all, it's gonna be 500, and then after that, we'll send back a JSON response, which is an object right here with an error property, and that's gonna say something like, could not create a new document. All right. So I think that is pretty much it. Now we can test this post request out in Postman. So then in Postman, we're gonna make a new request for this post request. So click on this plus icon, then make sure you change this to post. That's the type of request this time around. And then the URL is going to be HTTP forward slash local host port 3000 forward slash books. It's right here, okay. So now we want to send a request body as well, since we want to save a new document, a new book. So go to body right here, then go to raw, and it's gonna be raw JSON that we send in the request body. Now I've already prepared a book object, and it looks something like this because I didn't want to type it out from scratch while you're all watching, that would bore everyone. So we can see right here, it's just an object, and we have a title property, The Final Empire, an author, Brandon Sanderson, a rating, pages, genres, and we have two review objects down here as well, okay? So this is the request body. This is the book that we want to save. So hopefully, if we click on send now, this is gonna work. We can see acknowledged is true, and inserted ID is this thing right here. So hopefully now, it will now have been saved to the database, but let's just test that. I'm gonna to go to this one, where we grab all the books, 
and then I'm going to send this request and I'm going to look for that new book that I just added, which was The Final Empire. So let me scroll down here and we can see it, The Final Empire right here. And this ID matches the ID that we have over here. They're exactly the same. Awesome. So that's all worked. Now what I'd like to do is just save this request right here so we can use it again later if I want to. So let's save it to the bookstore and save. And there we go. So now we can use this again later. Awesome. So now we have a get request for all books, a get request for a single book, and a post request to add new books as well. Next up, we're gonna look at delete requests.